Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I wanted to do a follow-up video on this Azrael Clary situation. So I did a video before, and it talks about the flipping of Azrael Clary. Everybody knows by now that she's changed allegiance. She's no longer Team R. Kelly. And in the last video, basically, I just talked about the fact that she's flipped. So I wanted to do a follow-up video and, and, and maybe go over some strategies that R. Kelly could use to basically deal with Azrael. Because at this point, she has to be dealt with. There's no way that you can allow her to continue to do these interviews and make the allegations that she's making. Now, if you've seen the interview, she's made some pretty crazy allegations. And for the most part, she's confirming word for word the allegations that has already been put out there, right? So before we get into talking about strategies that Kelly can use to deal with Azrael Clary, uh, we need to try to speculate why Azrael actually flipped. Now, I actually don't like to talk about things like this because my channel is really about law, right? Contrary to what most people believe, my channel is not really the R. Kelly defense channel. It's really a channel about law. But before we can actually get into some of the legal strategies that might be available to R. Kelly, we have to really look at the reasons why she or the reason why she's flipping. And maybe that could possibly be the way to deal with her. So why is she flipping? Right. So. One speculation that was made on my channel, one theory or speculation made on my channel, is that she's flipping because she's no longer the main girl, right? So from my understanding and from watching other videos out there about this whole situation, and I can't confirm any of this stuff I'm about to say, it's, it's really just speculation and hearsay, but from watching other channels, I've heard that R. Kelly has always had a main girl on the team, right? And at one point, Azrael Clary had that title, right? Before Azrael Clary, there were other women that basically had that title, and at some point, Azrael Clary got it, or maybe he has several main girls. I know Azrael Clary was the one at one point. And, well, I don't know, but, you know, I believe that she was the one at one point. And this theory just kind of makes sense, except that she was once the main girl, and she somehow lost her status as the main girl. So now she's pissed, she's livid because she's lost her position, right? So, and, and to me, it, it doesn't sound too crazy, because when you look at most organizations, there's always a hierarchy, and I would imagine that in a polygamous relationship, not that I know, because I've never been in a polygamous relationship, but even in a polygamous relationship, there is probably going to be some hierarchy, right? I think it's kind of an animal thing, when you look at the animal kingdom, for example, if you look at the a pack of lions, I don't know if you can say a pack of lions. Is it a pride of lions? That's how you say it. If you look at a pride of lions, there's always an alpha female and then there's always a omega female, so on and so forth, right? So I think this is kind of what's going on in this R. Kelly situation. I think that it's possible that Azrael Clary somehow became the alpha female that was in R. Kelly's pride, so to speak, and she's lost that position, and basically Jocelyn Savage now has that position. That's my theory. It's speculation. I have nothing to prove this. The, the, you know, it's, it's, and I don't... This is just something that I'm coming up with based off of some of the comments that was left on my channel. And I thought about it. I forgot who actually 
came up with that comment, but um, yeah, so this is just something that I'm running with that was left on my channel. I have no way to prove any of this stuff, so take it with a grain of salt. So another theory is that Azriel Clary was promised a career, and now she probably realized, allegedly, that she won't get this career. So now she's livid, she's pissed, and she's trying to get revenge. You know, that's one theory. I kind of don't buy that theory. This, again, was another theory left on my channel. I don't buy that theory because, to me, it seems like she has long since kind of enjoyed being one of R. Kelly's girlfriends. It looks like she was pretty happy with the privileges that came along with being R. Kelly's girlfriend. And maybe now that that's gone, she's probably upset, right? So I, I kind of don't buy that theory. And another theory is that simply the money is gone. Simply put, the money's gone. And now that the money's gone, and I guess it's kind of merges with the last theory that I gave you that maybe she gave up the career and settled for just being his girlfriend, which basically meant there was going to be lots of gifts and money and a fabulous lifestyle. And now that that's gone, uh, which is a separate theory that someone left on my channel, is, is that the money's gone. So you merge those two together and basically she has nothing so now she's coming out and she's doing these interviews and she's trying to uh, basically get fame and attention, right? Now, I personally believe that she's being paid for these interviews. Why wouldn't a newspaper or tabloid play pay? I'm sorry, because if you're going to be the first one to basically launch this story, then you would want to pay for that. You would want to pay for that because you're going to get traction on your news, on your newspaper or your website or whatever. So I believe she's paying for these, I believe she's being paid, I'm sorry, for these interviews. I think she's being paid, right? So the money is gone to me sounds like a credible theory on why she's flipping because she's basically getting, well, first, the money's gone, and now she has absolutely nothing, and now she's getting paid for these interviews. But now that I think about it, as I'm talking, I'm thinking about it, she could be paid by defending R. Kelly just as much as she could get paid by uh, trashing him, right, or basically flipping, right? She gets paid either way, so uh, the fact that the money's gone isn't necessarily a reason that she's flipping because she could just go out, get paid, do interviews, and just basically do interviews defending R. Kelly. She would still get paid. So the, the fact that the money is gone, and I'm not even sure the money is gone. Like, I don't know, you know, how much money that man has in his pocket, uh, but people are speculating. I, I, you know, maybe I kind of believe it. I've done several other videos where I highlight the fact that he has the child support situation. He's been sued by um, his previous landlord. And, of course, I would imagine that record sales are not going to be at their best now that these lawsuits are going on. So, you know, maybe the money is gone. But I'm not sure that I think that's one a a good theory on why she's doing this. I'm probably going to lean with the fact that she's lost, not the fact, I'm sorry, I'm going to lean with the theory that she's lost her alpha female status, and that status has been handed over to Jocelyn, and that's the reason that she is probably flipping, right? So actually, I want to hear more theories from you guys as to why she's doing this, why she's coming out, she's speaking out against R. Kelly. I want to hear more theories on why you guys 
she thinks. Uh, I want to hear more theories on why you guys think she's doing this. Now, of course, the solution to basically any of these theories, or f for the theory that she's lost the alpha female status, is to simply give her the status back, right? That's that's one of the solutions. Give her the status back, right? And I'm sorry. Let me back up. So. I also think there is actually some money still there because I think I was watching another video where they mentioned that Jocelyn Savage is living off of some type of estate or inheritance. I can't remember the exact word used, but to me, I initially thought that she is getting some type of money from R. Kelly, maybe there's an estate, and she's living off of that estate. Now it may not, there may not be that much money in that in that estate, but I believe part of being the alpha female in R. Kelly's entourage gives you the right to receive X amount of dollars from this estate, right? Could be wrong, right? So. Going back to how to actually deal with Azrael Cleary, I think one of the best ways to deal with her is to probably give her back the alpha male, alpha female status, I'm sorry. And if she has the alpha male female status, then all of this kind of goes away. You know, so maybe there can be something worked out between Azrael and Jocelyn Savage to kind of kind of squash this 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 drama between them, right? So and 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 the alpha female status is really starting to make sense to me because when you look at the videos of R. Kelly basically having his court appearance, you you were typically seeing Azrael and Jocelyn Savage leave court. You were seeing that. You were seeing either. You were seeing both of them. Azrael and Jocelyn Savage. They were both going to and for all of R. Kelly's court appearances. So this makes me believe that, yeah, they were the main girls. You don't see anybody else going to his court appearance. At least I did. If you guys have, if you've noticed someone else who were one of his girlfriends going to his court appearance, please leave your questions, comments below. I want, I want to know who these women are, right? But for the most part, you just see Azrael and Jocelyn Savage supporting him, showing up to court. So that makes me believe that they were the main girls. They were the alpha females at the time. And so, yeah, that theory makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to end this video right here because it's actually gotten a little too long. I will continue on with part two of this video. So thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.